Finalists in our people category. Be well. Be well, a new focus on staff health and well-being. The project aims to unify all employee health and well-being activity under one recognisable brand. To enhance access to health and well-being information for staff inside and outside work via two new interactive tools, the Be Well website and the Be Well app. The website contains advice, videos and tools openly accessible both in work and at home. Be Well app. This free app consists of unique content composed by our occupational health team plus a range of NHS sources. In addition to the new tools, Be Well offers an extensive array of wellbeing programmes and staff support services. Our free Here For You service offers classes including Zumba, boxing and photography to name a few. We provide a cycle to work scheme for staff with bike docking facilities at many of our sites and a wide range of emotional well-being courses and services including staff care, resilience training and mindfulness programme. The overriding premise of Be Well is to inspire staff to become champions of both their own well-being and that of their families. Put simply, healthy, happy staff lead to better health and care outcomes for our patients and service users. Inspiring Allied Health Professionals Allied Health Professionals, known as AHPs, are a group of 12 unique professions together representing the third largest staff group within the health service. Leadership is crucial to improving quality services and is essential at all levels. As a team of six AHPs representing five different professions, we collaborated to help nurture future leaders. We surveyed our peers and identified their level of engagement and also barriers to AHPs engaging with leadership. We conducted interviews with local AHP leaders to capture their leadership journeys, success stories and lessons learned. We summarised learning from strategic documents, gathered inspirational quotes and created the AHP Leadership Top Tips resource. Our post-tip survey indicated the resource increased AHP awareness and engagement empowering and developing us on an individual and collective level to adopt leadership rules and transform healthcare. Peer trainers transform learning to improve well-being in the Belfast community. Belfast Recovery College, through an innovative model of peer trainers, has implemented a unique leading edge educational initiative. At the heart of the ethos of the Recovery College are three things. Firstly, Valuing the combined lived experience of mental health and professional knowledge, we co-produce courses to improve the well-being of students in the community of Belfast. Secondly, to improve well-being through our strength-based values of hope, control and opportunity, our people are co-producing courses in a range of areas such as addictions and self-directed support. Thirdly, evidence suggests real positive outcomes from staff, carers and service users learning together in the Recovery College. Peer trainers, staff trainers and students are saying that learning plans helped me find my identity again. When self-belief is there, there is hope that recovery is possible. Peer support from other students give me hope. Wellness and recovery is celebrated. The Recovery College is helping us pursue our aspirations to participate as equal citizens in economic, educational, social inclusion and family life. By learning together, our people are sharing knowledge, sharing experience and sharing lives. Taken in vain. The Royal Victoria Hospital phlebotomy team formed in October 2015. This group had a twofold challenge. The new team members had to learn new skills in a new, fast-paced environment, whilst existing team members had to become the trainers whilst continuing to perform and meet daily expectations. The new skills now include venipuncture, intravenous cannulation, 
ECG, electrocardiogram recording, obtaining blood cultures and drawing samples for analysis to allow safe transfusion of blood products. They make patients feel comfortable during an often feared procedure and communication with the ward, junior doctors and nursing staff is important to ensure clinical priorities are understood. The team are now collecting upwards of 160 blood samples per day. They operate a 7am to 8am discharge round to facilitate early discharge decision making and they continue to enhance our patients' experiences with a friendly, confident approach and high skill level.